Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems that help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So, we are heading into the past the one third mark of the NBA season, and teams are starting to position themselves before the All Star break. So, before we take a look at the games, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the Z Code VIP Club section right here, which has all the wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games in store. We have the Philadelphia 76ers and the Phoenix Suns. The 76ers head into action with the top seed in the Eastern Conference, while the Suns are fourth in the Western Conference. You see right now both teams are burning hot. Philadelphia winners of five out of their last six, and Phoenix also winners of five out of their last six. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see that the 76ers hold a slight 25 to 27 edge in that category. If you're taking a look at the totals predictor to see how they're favoring according to their uh, over and under line, you see that uh, Philadelphia is trending in games two points over the line. Phoenix is trending in games under the line. So normally when that happens, I suggest not betting the over under, so I would avoid that in this case. I want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent are they performing according to their favorite underdog status. You see a huge difference here, Philadelphia at plus 12, and Phoenix here down at minus 3. So you can see that Phoenix is not really performing consistently at all. Sometimes they're winning as underdogs, sometimes they're losing at home. So if I take a look at this game overall, you notice that the line is not yet set for this game because it's on Saturday. It'll probably be showing up tomorrow at the very latest Saturday morning. The 76ers have only lost two games with Joel Embiid in the lineup. Check his stats before uh, placing the bet on this one. Phoenix will be a slight home favorite, but if Embiid plays the game, I would go with the 76ers. The Indiana Pacers and the Atlanta Hawks. Indiana heads to Atlanta with the sixth best record in the Eastern Conference, and the Hawks are now eighth. So both, if the season ended today, would make the playoffs. But you can see right now, neither team is playing well lately. Indiana has lost five out of their last six, and Atlanta has lost four out of their last six. So both teams are trending in a very poorly direction. You can see at the power rankings indicator that also shows the downward trend with Indiana at plus 11. They were as high as, well, they were as high as plus 29 back on January 29th, and you can see Atlanta is at plus 12. Look at the head to head matchup. Now let's look at this first. So let's look at the totals predictor. For the over and under, you can see that Indiana is playing in games trending slightly over the line. While the Hawks are playing in games slightly under the line. Again, when this scenario happens, I usually try to avoid betting the over and under. For the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that the teams have not played this season. Look at the stability of the two teams according to their favorite underdog status. You can see that Atlanta is much more consistent at plus nine. And Indiana is down here at plus two. Overall, what do I see happening in this game? I think that the Hawks are just are generally going to be better, particularly playing at home. And I see them edging the Pacers in this one. The Houston Rockets at the New York Knicks. Boy, how times have changed in Houston since the trade of James Harden. Houston is way down near the bottom of the Western Conference. You can see right now they are ice cold down. Losers have four out of their last six. The Knicks are ice cold down also, losers of uh, four out of their last six. Um, Rockets are, like I said, near the bottom of the Western Conference. But the Knicks are battling for a playoff spot. They are currently in the ninth seed with the top, top eight teams making the playoffs. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Houston is at plus 15. New York is at plus seven. But you can see both are on a downward trend. Take a look at the totals predictor. You can see here that Houston is playing in games trending well under the line. New York playing in games trending well under the line. There's a good indication to bet the under. It's going to be a very profitable bet for you. It will be a low scoring game. Are the teams consistent according to their favorite and underdog stats? Well, kind of surprisingly, considering how the teams have not been playing very well, they both are. Plus seven for Houston, plus five for the Knicks. Of course, that could just mean that they are losing as underdogs which they have been very much so lately. But one team will be the favorite in this one. One team has to win. The Knicks will probably be a home favorite. I think that they definitely have a better team than Houston. They will come away with a win in a 
low-scoring game. The Nets and the Warriors. The Nets are ice cold up. They've yet to really find their way since the Harden trade. They have lost four out of their last six. The Warriors are average status at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. In the first meeting between the teams this season, you can see that back on December 22nd, the Nets blew out the Warriors as a home favorite by 125 to 99 score. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. Both teams, again, on a downward trend. Brooklyn down to plus 16, and Golden State is at plus 14. Looking at the uh, over and under, like we always do, look at this. Brooklyn well over the line, four points over. And Golden State also over the line. So what do we think is going to happen? Probably going to be a high-scoring game, and I think betting the over would be a wise choice. Are the teams playing consistently? Well, let's see. Well, Brooklyn, not so much. They have been favorites many times since the trade and have just have not performed. They are minus two here. And you can see Golden State has been steady up around plus six, then down to plus five, but now back up to plus six. So what do I think is going to happen in this one? I actually think that the next woes are going to continue. I think the Warriors will find a way at home to come away with a victory. And finally, the last game is the Miami Heat and the Utah Jazz. How far have the, have the Heat fallen? Well, right now they are burning hot, but overall in the league, they are near the bottom in the Eastern Conference after making the NBA Finals a year ago. They have won the last three, though, and Utah is burning hot with the top record in the NBA. They have won five out of their last six. You can see that the Jazz have a commanding plus 29 to plus 8 advantage on the power ranking indicator. The two teams have not yet met this season. If you're looking for an over-under on this one, you can see here that Miami is playing in games trending under the line. Utah also playing in games trending under the line. Very strong indication that this will be a defensive battle. Bet the under. We always look for consistency before we place our bets. And this one here shows both teams are very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. You can see they are just climbing in that category. Plus 8 for Utah. Plus 7 for Miami. Utah will clearly be a home favorite. Again, they're the best team in the NBA right now. Miami might put up a good fight because they have been playing better lately, but Utah will come away with the win. So there you have it. Those are the five games on tap for February the 13th, this Saturday. So happy betting. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.